thing, to be honest. It was all a bit... Hmm. All a bit last minute we won, rather than winning by Wednesday. Scraped through, by all accounts. Yeah. Well, not so much scraped. <laughs> I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. I would say that it was uh, a... Well, yeah, scraped. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I think scraped. Yeah. Right then, OK. It's headline or hearsay. It's Monday morning. Any help would be very, very, very much appreciated. So uh, let's get on. Let's play for today. KFC won't follow any Tom, Dick or Harry on Twitter. They're actually very selective about who makes it onto their timeline. The fast food giant has only honoured 11 social media users with the privilege. The lucky 11 are the five Spice Girls and six chaps called Herb. While this may seem like a random lineup, the group has actually been specially selected by the social media team. By following 11 Herbs and Spices online, KFC is alluding to their very own top secret recipe. Oh, come Ooh. off it. Headline or hearsay. Would they do that? Are they clever enough to think of that? Well, probably. I mean, I imagine it's, you know, it's, it's, it's quite a, an expensive team put together to, to do the social media. It'd be a great idea if they've done it. If they have done it. <laughs> don't you hate it when you follow someone and they don't follow you back? <laughs> I do. Sorry. <laughs> do you unfollow? Uh, do you then go back unfollow. and unfollow? Yeah, I do. I'm thinking, I'll give you a day's grace. I'll give you a day's grace. <laughs> yeah. Bo says, uh, good morning from uh, Rome, Italy. Oh, oh wow. Very nice. Oh. Bonjour. Uh, the joke never gets old. <laughs> no. Uh, Julie says, morning. Uh, Keith says, hearsay. Julie says, uh, Twitter doesn't have a timeline, Jamie. That's a good you? point. <laughs> Well, it's <laughs> technically sort of does. Newsfeed timeline. James says hearsay. Joy says hearsay as well. Mm -hmm. So are we going headline or hearsay? I think this could be a hearsay. Do you think? Definitely. We're hearsay. going. We're going hearsay, Jamie. Well, it's one of the best stories I've read. It's a headline. Headline. Ah. Wow. Oh. Clever, I thought. Very, very good. Clever. Very, very good. And we so, gave that to so you. who who would you uh, who would you have your who you follow on Twitter? Who would be the few people that you would follow? The few people. I mean, Jamie would obviously follow his dentist. <laughs> yeah. His uh, tanning person. Yeah. How does it come onto this? How how was this first clue? Have you had come your teeth this? this weekend? Again? I've never had them done. <laughs> Thank you. Can I just say that anyone watching right now on Facebook, you will see that because the light's on behind Jamie, you can see just how... <laughs> <laughs> how, how they do, don't they? <laughs> yes, you can. They do, how, it's how, just toothpaste, honestly. I was going to say how bright your teeth are, but also how, how good your hair looks this morning. Have you had a haircut as well? Uh, yeah. He's had a, Jamie's had a me weekend. Pam <laughs> <laughs> It's all about me this bit weekend. R, bit of R&R. &R. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's continue with today's headline or hearsay. An 80-year-old German woman transformed her village by painting doors and buildings. The former nurse turned her hand to painting after retiring and uses it as a way to relax. She got so fed up with ugly-looking derelict buildings, she decided to do something about it. Magda insists that although it's made her semi-famous, she's only doing it for fun. Headline or hearsay? So she's doing what? She's painting doors and buildings that have kind of been left derelict. Fair play to her if she is. To be fair, she, she comes down my road, she'll probably do it to our house. <laughs> yeah. Get her on the island. <laughs> uh, do we think that's a headline or hearsay? I think that's a great story if that's true. Joy thinks it's headline this morning. Keith thinks it's headline. And uh, to be honest, people on Facebook kind of let us down on the last one. Yeah, you uh, do. Louise thinks it's headline as well. How quickly we turn. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly says uh, headline. Is it headline or is it here so? Everyone's saying, well, Marion's saying headline, Helen's saying here say, Steve's saying headline, Maz is saying here say, Steve thinks it's a headline, Julie thinks it's a headline. I think we've probably got to go with headline, haven't we? I think headline. I like this story and I hope it's true. It's we're here so. <gasps> Jamie, no, it is not. Jamie's won. On a Monday. Jamie, you haven't won in ages. <laughs> All the other news team win. I'll just take Jamie. a moment. <laughs> Jamie never wins. Wow. I've won. Two, two nil. Just take, take a moment, Jamie. Two just take a moment. Two nil with one to play. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I'm just showboating now. One more left. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh. Are we going to do the final one? Yeah, I think we might do. <laughs> 
It's understood fans of karaoke will soon be unable to belt out some of their favourite songs. More than 100 bands and performers are reportedly no longer issuing new licences for their music. Among the classics on the ban list are Adele's Hello, ABBA's Dancing Queen and U2's With or Without You. Headline or Hearsay? Is Rainy Men still on there, though? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that's, I, ca- that's I can't class, see. I can't see them turning down the cash. No, I can't see that happening. And let's be honest: who hasn't thought? Oh, I'd love to go and listen to someone do "Hello Karaoke" because <laughs> they've got to be better than Adele, haven't yeah. they? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that crosses lots of people's minds. Helen thinks it's hearsay. Marion thinks it's hearsay. Steve says it's hearsay. Louise says hearsay this morning. Keith says hearsay. Can we pull it back for the last one? I'd like to think so. Joy thinks headline. Julie says, please let this be headline. (laughs) (laughs) For the sake of all of our ears. Uh, Sam says hearsay. Joe thinks it's headline this morning. So are we going headline or hearsay? Hearsay. We're going hearsay. Julie says headline 100%. Really? Okay. Mm. Maz says headline as well. Carly says hearsay. P.S. Could you ask Jamie what toothpaste he uses? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oral B. Very good. <laughs> Whitening. <laughs> Actually, randomly, I went to that wedding show yesterday. In the in the gift pack that I got, you know, like you get a bag, I got a box of Special K and a new toothbrush. <laughs> so that's a really random thing to put in there Abs- as a gift. Absolutely ideal if you're getting married. <laughs> Surely a spoon would be easier. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I think hearsay. Are we going hearsay then? Hearsay. Hearsay. It's a headline. (laughs) No! (laughs) A clean Clean sweep. Three nil. I knew staying in at the weekend and writing these (laughs) would do me good. Wow, well done, Jamie. Jamie. No, don't clap yourself. Un- he's unbelievable, oh, yeah, isn't he? You've got to do it, haven't you? Yeah. Well, no, you haven't. No, it's okay. You've ruined it now. <laughs> You've gone from hero to zero <laughs> like that. Quick. Headline or hearsay back. Same time, same place tomorrow. Feel free to play along at home. But if you want to get fully interactive, you can always play along on Facebook as well. Facebook.com forward slash Isle of Wight Radio. Just like the page. And there you go. Uh, Julie Julie says a thousand percent, not a hundred Paul, I got the first two right. Uh, Go, Jamie, says Rory. Well done, bro, says Sam. Well done, Jamie, says (laughs) Helen. (laughs) Everyone everyone is so shocked and amazed. Uh, We're all in the same boat here. That you have won, (laughs) that uh, everyone is pleased for you. I'm pleased for you. Are you pleased? I'm pleased. I'm pleased we let him win as well. Latest news headlines plus the travel for the Isle of Wight after this from Coolio in Gangster's Paradise at Isle of Wight Radio.